did the hat say to the scarf? You hang around here, I'm going on ahead. And this is Balloon Animal Lessons number 82. Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister. And this time I want to teach you how to make a really cool balloon stocking cap. This is a really cool winter hat to make. Why do I make these in the winter? Because people don't ask for them in the summer. It only uses three balloons and is really quick to make. Let me show you how I make it. For this design, you'll need three balloons. I'm using two blue 260s and one white 260. We're gonna start with the base of our hat. Get your white 260 and inflate it almost all the way, but leave about two inches on the end. So once we have that inflated, let some air out and tie. Give the balloon a nice squeeze and a stretch. We wanna make a long section. It should be pretty long, but not too long. Mine's about maybe a foot and a half. Now we're gonna do a small one inch bubble, pull that over and pinch twist it. You see that I have just about enough left to do another section and that's about what I want. I want just a little bit left here. But before I twist that section, I'm gonna give this a squeeze and a stretch. And now I'm gonna twist another section the same length as the bottom one. So I'm gonna twist it right here. So these two here should be the same length. Now I'm gonna twist another one inch bubble, pinch twist. One inch bubble, fold it over, pinch it, pull it, twist it. Now I can take this part here with a knot and wrap it into that pinch twist. The reason I want a really big hat like this is because you don't know how big the person's head is. They could have a really big head or a small head and it's better to have a hat too big than too small because a big hat you can always adjust. Now I have this bit here on the end and instead of breaking it off, I'm actually gonna use it as a little fluffy ball that's on the end of the hat. So I'm gonna push the air towards the end. I'm gonna twist a small bubble and I'm gonna take it over and I'm gonna fold a small flower petal, leaving just about a two inch bubble there. And this is gonna be the little fluffy part on the end of the hat. So now we start making the rest of our hat. Get your blue balloons. With each of the two blue balloons, you want to inflate it almost all the way. But let some air out and tie. Give it a nice squeeze and a stretch. Remember to do both. Now that we have our two blue balloons, it's time to attach them to our balloon base. This is really easy. Each blue balloon gets attached to one of the pinch twists on the sides. So this one, I'm gonna attach here. And this one, I'll attach here. Now that we have the blue balloons attached to the balloon base, it's time to make the rest of the hat. You can see I have the white puff ball on this side, which means on the opposite side, I wanna make it a little bit shorter. So you want it to lean away from the puff ball. I know having it lean that way seems a little odd, but don't worry, there's a reason for this. So now we have the two blue balloons meeting right here. We're gonna spiral it like a candy cane. And you wanna bend it over to where that puff ball is and twist it into there. The rest of these you don't need, so you can pop them off and tie them. I like to hide the messy bits inside the puff ball. There we go, we're done with our hat already. Wasn't that easy? You can see the reason this side is so short is it gives the rest of the hat enough room to arch all the way over to the other side. But this hat's a little too big on me. So what do you do when a hat's too big? Let me show you what I do. Go to the balloon in the back. What I like to do is I twist off a bubble to use up that extra room and I pinch twist it into the side. This will shorten one side, leaving the rest of it long. This creates the illusion that the hat sits further back than it actually does, and now it fits a lot more comfortably. And we're done with our stocking cap. What do you guys think? Is this something you'll use? Let me know in the comments below. What do you want to learn next? While you're down there, you can let me know too. If you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up button. And if you want more balloon animal lessons, check out the playlist here and subscribe to my channel. I do this kind of thing every week. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember, anything, even silly hats, can be made out of balloons. What, you're still here? You stuck around all the way to the end. Good for you. That means you get the bonus feature. I'm gonna show you how to add a beard to your hat. For the beard, you'll need two 260 balloons. I'm using brown. Inflate them both almost all the way. Let's marrow on and tie. Give them a squeeze and a stretch. 
Now that you have the two brown balloons, attach them to one of the pinch twists at the base of the balloon hat. Once you have them attached, spiral the brown balloons like a candy cane. And twist the end of it into the other pinch twist on the other side. Break off the excess. And now you've added a beard to your hat. Let's make everybody who didn't watch all the way to the end jealous. Let me know how much you like the beard in the comments below. I haven't shaven in a million years. I haven't shaven in a million years.